In this video, I'm going to talk about how to connect your Leica CS20 to your laptop via cable. So, it, with the CS15, you would use uh, Mobile Device Center once it was connected with a wire. With a CS20, it's done a little bit differently, and that's what this video is for. So, the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure you get the drivers loaded. So, we're going to come to the N drive, CAD support, Leica, and miscellaneous folder. In this folder, you will see a bunch of drivers, and I'm going to recommend the latest version, which is set up Leica USB 64 bit 2017. Copy that to your desktop or somewhere on your local drive and unzip it. Alright, so I've unzipped the folder, open it up, and we're going to run this exe file. It is installing a mobile drive, uh, device center, and before you install, remove any attached equipment. So make sure your GS is not connected to your uh, laptop via the wire. I'm going to run next, install. I'm going to run, the, run this driver. Once finished, we're going to finish. And now you can connect your controller to your, um, with the wire to your um, laptop. You're going to come over to the Windows Explorer and you're going to use this link 192.168.254. Dot one. Okay, if connected, you will see Captivate SD card temp. If I look inside Captivate, here is all my jobs, my data folder. What I recommend is to make a shortcut. So come over to this PC. We're going to map a network drive. So I recommend that we use a letter for your drive that is currently uh, not being used. So the A and B are like floppy disk uh, letters back in the day. So I recommend we use uh, the A or B drive. So we'll go with the A drive and we're going to want to type in this path. So backslash backslash 192.168.254.1 backslash and we're going to hit browse okay browse and we're going to pick the captivate folder and that's where your new drive will path to so we say okay there's your path we'll finish once it's completed Pick the letter. Now I got a little green icon here. If you can see that, that means that we are successfully connected to the A drive. And when I come in the A drive, I've got my DBX. Here's all my jobs. I go to the data folder. Here's all my text files and my DXFs. And now uh, you have a shortcut that you don't need to remember every time you want to connect this. IP address. Just connect your controller to the wire and click the shortcut key. And that's it.